and then I say, well, we no income really ain't coming in, you know. So I say, well, I have to do something about it. And then I know um, Scott, and I, I say, Scott, well, um, I need to do something, you know. And if you will join me to do it, and he said yes, and I, I talked to him about it. The double thing, and he said, he said, all right, let me try it and see. And so we happened to do it, you know, and it come out successfully. But, um, you know, <laughs> he said, well, you know, we'll do everything, and then this, then this come up, I know. How did you feel? So before we talk yeah. about yesterday, Ronald, I uh -huh. want to ask, you know, when you came up with the idea, because you said you went to one of the owners, at, you approached one of the owners at St. Christopher's, you said, I needed to yeah. do something. Most people, when they think of doubles, they think of standing up outside the road. You have been selling doubles for 35 years, so you know this. They come out, you either stand on the line, you eat your doubles day, or you take it home and you have it immediately after. That, people are accustomed seeing it in a grease paper, in a box, at the side of a road. The concept to put it in pre in in containers, plastic containers or, or environmentally friendly containers and do all of the sources at the side. Did you think it was a risk? Do you think people would have accepted having their doubles like that? Yeah, for sure. Plenty of people like it that way. But you know, people, again, they like the doubles to have it right on spot, you know. But doing it that way, it, it, I find it all right. You know, and people will like it that way because people sometimes the doubles might be, they don't want the doubles wrap the carry, yeah. you know, and they, they'll get it that way, they will like it that way. Do your customers, and when they first tasted this doubles in a container, what did they tell you? I haven't had it, so let me put it out there to say that. <laughs> but what do people say? Is, is it is it the, the same fat boy doubles that they're accustomed to? It's the same, it's even better. <laughs> <laughs> it was even better, they said. <laughs> Now, yesterday, did you expect people to react the same way? Because I did speak with Scott yesterday, and he, he told me about some of the numbers and the amount of people that were lining up outside St. Christopher's for this. So did you expect it to be such a hit? Yes, for sure. Because I know my doubles. My doubles is the best, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and plenty of people just come and when they taste the doubles, say, for five your doubles is the best, you know? So when they see my doubles, they are now, let the people approach it and come, you know, because they call me all about and they say, fat boy, your job doubles by the gas station. I say, yes, <laughs> all right, you're going to get it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, yeah. so Tell me about yesterday now, because yesterday, this story, I, I feel as though the whole of Facebook was ready to fight for you on this, because they wanted their doubles to remain at St. Christopher's. So when did, when they found out, when you found out that police came and they said that they could no longer sell uh, the doubles, what what exactly were you thinking? What went through your mind at that time? Well, I say, of course, I say, I say, well, that is it for me. I say, because I said, the people need my doubles, and look what's going to happen, you know, and then, it was very terrifying. I didn't really, <laughs> I didn't feel good, you know? I didn't feel good at all about it. But then, when, I, when, I, when they called me back and I get the news that, you know, that I could return, I said, well, that is very nice and beautiful. <laughs> you know, so I could supply the people back again. Do you expect, so did you think that social media was going to fight that the way that they did? I mean, I saw everyone commenting on it. I didn't know Trinidad and Tobago had so many doubles lovers, but were you surprised at the amount of people willing to fight for you and your doubles at St. Christopher's, this fat boy doubles brand? Yeah, people will well, because I do so much fets and parties and boat rides and everything, you know? So plenty of people know my doubles all over, all over. you know, so you find like they will comment on it. You know? What yeah. do you, so now, I mean, did you start already? Have you sent out your orders already? Because yeah, I understand I, I, from 6 a.m. the doubles is freshly made every day, right? Yes, I already said it out already. <laughs> so, and had people lining up waiting for doubles. What do you think makes your doubles? Okay, so do you think, you know, you, you took, you went, you said, I'm going to do this, I'm going to take a risk and start doing this. Will you now expand this? to other gas stations? Will you now expand this to grocery stores? Where, what is the next um, incarnation of this business venture? Well, you see, I'm, uh, I'm not really that big, you know, but I'll take plenty of orders, 
you know, and people call, I receive plenty of orders. You're quite popular today, so I, I think you're being yeah. very humble, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> I receive plenty of orders and everything, and people will be calling right to you. Even, even when this lockdown, people call in to ask if I'm um, if I, if I doing double still, you know? But will you be taking, do you you see with all the attention that you're getting, will you now take this, let's say, to other places to sell your double? Um, I don't know. I ain't too sure yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't too sure yet. Tell me, what do you think makes Fat Boy doubles, the, you said it's the best doubles, that's, that's the way you describe What do you mm -hmm. think makes a double so good? Well, the ingredients that are putting in it, special ingredients, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that... No one wouldn't know that. <laughs> a lot of people, you know, when all of this started, people started making doubles at their homes. Do you mm -hmm. think that when the when COVID and the lockdowns are, fin are lifted, that the doubles trade itself or the, the doubles man may actually now be obsolete, that people may not buy from doubles vendors, that they may start making it more at home? No, I don't, I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I believe that they, um, they, will, they, will, they will come out together doubles the same way. Yeah. And when, once they know your, your audience, they will, yeah. And when this is, is, is lifted, will you continue selling the, the doubles in the container? I mean, this started as a COVID thing. So this is how you... I, yes, I believe so. I believe so, yes. I believe I will, yeah. Especially to the gas station. <laughs> Cut the gas station. <laughs> you know, did you... Were you afraid that, you know, when you took a risk, and I mentioned this earlier, that people think a doubles a certain way, they think of a particular, so you basically shifted the entire industry. Pardon? I didn't you basically shifted the entire industry because a lot of people are just accustomed to a certain thing. They think doubles man, they think doubles vendor, and that's the end of it. Um, what did people tell you when you first decided? Did you speak to your family to say, I'm going to start putting this and selling this at St. Christopher's? Did they tell you that this is a good idea? That did, did everyone tell you it was a good idea? Yeah, well, I, it's me and my son and my, my two smaller kids, really. And we, we, we do everything. And I talk to my son and he says, it's a good idea. You know, let, let's do it. And, and, and so I've made it come out successfully, you know. Now, Ron, you are the owner of the doubles, the fat boy doubles that had Trinidad yeah. and Tobago on fire yesterday. Social yeah. media was fighting your cause. What do you yeah. want to say to, to the public and also to, to the people at St. Christopher's? I saw they put out an ad, um, a, um, they put out a post on their Facebook page talking about the fact that they, they saw this as a way to help. The, and they, I know that they have a business model where they help mm -hmm. a lot of small entrepreneurs like yourself uh, to give them a space to sell their products. So what do you want to say to Trinidad and Tobago after all of the fury yesterday? Well, well all I have to say is that I'm well, providing back doubles again, and you all will always have my teeth, you know, and you all know where to come for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think is a secret to a good doubles? <laughs> the secret is the, is the barra. And the channel. I'll, you know, I'll once remember you have that. The text, yeah? Once you have the good text here yeah? and the good taste, you're good to go. Definitely. That's what I have. <laughs> <laughs> Aran, I want to thank you very much and congratulations to your win. Thank yesterday. you very much. Thank you. Okay. And, and, and you know, also, I want to yeah. ask you before you go, Aran, you had the Commission of Police apologizing for that. What do you want to say to the Commissioner this morning? Well, <laughs> I you know, he said he's never had. Honest, he, you know, he said he's never had doubles. That's what he said in an interview yesterday. Well, then, well, then he should come and taste fat boy doubles now, and then when he tastes, he will see what we're talking about. <laughs> All right, I want to thank you very much again. And sure. um, it was uh, yesterday. It kind of showed the fact that um, you know people fought for this, uh, and uh, they fought for St. Christopher's gas station that's located on Ryston Road. Uh, we thought I would break up our interviews this morning and give you that story. We take a short break, and when we come back, the head of the medical uh, faculty of the University of the West, Indies, Professor Terence Mungal, he has been very prominent on the media as we look at the COVID-19 fight. We return to the conversation of the pandemic when we come back. Stay with us.